marriage is a duty. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for a new little series that I am calling My Hot Take on Hot D. This will cover a quick theory each week for the newest episode of House of the Dragon without spending too much time deep diving into the lore of it all. So in essence, these videos are for fans familiar with the history of House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones, and all the books. Try to keep up! This week we're talking about the Corpse King Viserys. In episode 4, titled King of the Narrow Sea, we're given a sex scene between Alicent and Viserys, showing little enthusiasm by the queen. Viserys looms over his young wife, his white blonde hair covering his face, and it was a stark reminder of the true mission of the Targaryen kings, to protect their legacy and the realm with their dragons. If they fail at this, it will be a corpse betting the queen, not a Targaryen king. King Viserys has been growing weaker through each episode, and his body seems to be slowly rotting from some unknown condition. What started as a cut on his finger from the Iron Throne has now taken two of his fingers and is slowly rotting his arm away. He has wounds festering on his body, hidden away by his royal clothing, but when he beds the queen, we see him for what he is. Something closer to the Walking Dead, the White Walkers, who the Targaryens and their dragons were sent to protect mankind from. What is causing these wounds that stubbornly will not heal? We must recall that Otto Hightower, who up until recently has served as hand to two kings, is dangerously close to the maesters of Old Town where his family rules, as well as the Grand Maester in King's Landing. The Grand Maester reports to Otto before the king himself, and with Otto's questionable decision making, we cannot ignore a glaring clue. Could Otto and the maesters be poisoning the Iron Throne? Could this be why the king's wounds just won't heal? Could a slow-acting poison rot the king from the inside out, killing him slowly enough to secure his grandson as heir over Rhaenyra? Viserys' choice to marry Alicent was a step away from the Targaryen trinity, the three heads of the dragon. It was a choice that parted the family, causing division. The three heads of the dragon must stick together, else risk the White Walkers and the dead taking over the realm. This is the true mission of the Targaryens, and what the sex scene between Viserys and Alicent was there to remind us of. In contrast to Rhaenyra and Daemon uniting the dragons through their hot and spicy hot D interactions, Viserys and Alicent's lovemaking only further divides their family and was nothing short of ice cold. What did you all think? Did you get full-on rigor mortis from Viserys' White Walker visage? It certainly makes you feel some kind of way for Alicent, that's for sure. Let me know your thoughts on this hot D, hot take, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for all the latest on House of the Dragon and much more. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye.